this. Yeah, you're gonna want to install them. Install them right there. And before you do it, you're gonna want to hit it with uh, uh, some compressed air and actually uh, clean them out. Oh, watch your face. Yeah, you want to make sure there's no particles in the sockets at all. Don't break the seal. You have oil leaking everywhere. It could be conducive of a bad day. Um, on top of it, it's almost idiot proof. Uh, this is a size 13 metric and this is a size 10. So all you gotta do is match the corresponding, plug them in, and then bolt it in. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do that now and I'll show you what the finished product looks like. Huh, unbelievable, she actually listened. Okay, so when you put these in, you want it to end with a curve goes with the, uh, the trim ram bolt, like so, like that. I don't know if you can see that or not, but you want both of them to be like that. So ideally, you want the curve to be right outside here. So, all right, I'm put this one in. Alright, so this is what the finished product looks like. Everything's uh, bolted through there. Uh, now down here, you want to make sure that the long side is on the inside. That way it's actually uh, straight and balanced. But everything looks good on this side. So what we're going to do is duplicate uh, this cylinder on the other side. And then we'll get to the next phase of uh, installing the hydraulic trim motor and the hoses. Alright, so now we got to figure out where we want to drill a hole in this boat, which again is not my forte, but it must be done. So I'm looking to put this uh, hose cover mount yeah, approximately right there. Maybe drill like a two and a quarter inch hole right here. And then we're just going to route it. The hoses, they're going to come through here and go all the way over there. And that's where the trim motor is going to be mounted, which is right here. So, you definitely got to make sure wherever you mount it, that the hoses, the hoses can reach. And they only come in one size, and that's a short AF. So, just make sure you take your measurements, that way you're only cutting once. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start drilling some holes. So now we got the uh, hydraulic uh, hoses installed into the cover. Uh, they're coming out under here. So now I gotta route them over there because that's where the pump is gonna go. Uh, that should be a lot of fun. All right, so trim has been successfully wired. It's going from here all the way up in through there, through that hole. And coming out here with just a little bit to spare. So I'm going to hook those hoses up now to the uh, trim motor. Then we're going to mount it. And feed it some, uh, feed it some 12 voltage, see what happens. All right, so before we get into the whole mounting, putting the bracket in and installing this, drilling more holes, uh, I'm going to go ahead and connect the, uh, the solenoid activation wires. That way I don't have to reach in there and do it it's a lot easier if it's out here. So I'm just going to take this uh, and splice it, strip it, tap those on, and then put, uh, put the wires onto the triggers. That way when I go to set it up, uh, this is already done, and then I can just route it you know, wherever it needs to go, to the controls or back here, the engine, wherever. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll show you the finished product. Now we're on the finished product of the trim motor. Um, we got the wire here. This is going to activate the up, up solenoid. And this wire over here, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, right here, that's going to activate the down solenoid. Then I have the wires going up to the top. 
which I actually uh, zip tied them to the main wires. So when I run this wire across, I don't uh, I don't pull them loose or anything like that. Just get a little bit more security. Oh, and you're probably wondering what that mustard bottle is for. Well, I'll give you a hint. I'm not eating hot dogs. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing mounted. All right, so now that the uh, bracket is mounted, we're gonna get these uh, lovely hoses installed to the corresponding corresponding holes down here. And again, it's almost idiot proof. And uh, we're gonna take compressed air and some rags and really get all that gunk out. Can you see it? High residual oil, dust, anything like that. And then when inserting these tips, you wanna make sure they are clean. There's nothing stuck on them. I mean, for obvious reasons, so we'll go ahead and do that. Clip out. Well, all four hydraulic hoses are installed. This is a 10, 10 metric. This is a 13 metric. Uh, you just want to get them in there snug. You don't want to bend the, bend the valves or the pipes or anything like that, but definitely make sure they're tight so there's no oil leaking. And now, I'm just going to mount this engine on said bracket here and... Uh, feed it some oil see what happens all right so now that the trim motor is uh, fully mounted which actually was a kind of a pain getting all that together it took a little longer than it should but we're good to go now we're back to this uh, mustard bottle what I'm gonna do is uh, put this oil in here I'm using uh, 5w30 I think they recommend 540 I'm, I'm, I'm not sure this will work just fine I'm gonna put this in because the hole to fill it, I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. I don't know if you can see it right, right there, that little hole right there. You can't even see it. Yeah, but it's just enough for this nozzle to fill so you can fill it without actually spilling oil all over your boat, which is a pain to get out, especially if you get it into the carpet or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fill it up. I got the wires run right here. So I'm actually gonna hook this hook this to a battery first and then test it before I actually hardwire it into the primary battery. Okay. Yeah, I almost forgot to mention when you're doing this, make sure your engine, uh, the cylinders are complete and everything's completely trimmed up. And then once you get the reservoir full, this thing, then you let the engine down and we'll suck the oil from the reservoir into the cylinders. Alright, so now the reservoir is completely full. I'll put the, the screw back on the reservoir so it doesn't shoot everywhere. Now I'm gonna let the uh, let the outboard down and I'm gonna attempt to do this with one hand, which is impossible by the way, because I have to unlock it. So I'm gonna set down the phone just for one. Well maybe not. Let's see. There we go. Right, the cylinder should fill with oil. All right. All right, nothing blew up. Nothing leaking. And everything looks uh, looks good. All right, let's give it some juice. See what's going on. Looks like I'm about to get uh. About to get crapped on, but we're gonna do it anyway. All right, so I got the power hooked up. Uh, got my little ghetto contraption here. Um, I'm gonna feed the green line. I don't remember which one that is. We're gonna see what happens here. Let's try the other one. Not leaking oil. I think it just needs to be bled. Ah, 
All right, that's good to know. I guess the green is up and the brown is down. All right, let's try to make it go down. Sweet. That's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. All right, no leaks, nothing blew up. All right, I think it's time to hardwire all this, uh, hardwire all this in. All right, so I ran the power cords, power cables, all the way under. So they're right here. This is with the trim wire. The trim wire is right there. So they come out on the other side. So now they're actually on. So that's the trim motor. Trim motor has power. So now I gotta splice this into trim, which if it's wired correctly, this will be up and this will be down. Now I thought about, hold on, up, yeah, down, up, down, you know, blue sky, green earth. I thought about running it, you know, maybe through there into the engine. I guess that would be okay, but not really. So what I'm going to do is actually get into the harness, which runs, oh my goodness, right there. See it? And I'm going to make sure I'm going to test the wire to figure out which one, which one is hot, which one is not. All right, wish me luck. All right, so everything's hooked up right. Splice the wires in. Uh, we think it's right. Look at the engine. We're actually going to try to do this from the uh, controls and the boat. Turn it on. All right, so that's up. Oh, that's, a, that's a good sight to see right there. I like it. Let's test it down. Mm -hmm. That's where it's at. All right, so all I got left to do is uh, tidy up all the tidy up all the wires down there, and the hydraulic trim is fully operational. It took me about I think maybe four or five hours once I got everything set up, just to make sure everything was mounted correctly and everything like that. And uh, glad the wires worked out in the control. Sometimes the wiring in these boats. Uh, sometimes other mechanics get in there and the color codes don't match and it just gets a little bit confusing But today it worked out. So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right. Bye